Skyrim is an unforgiving place, and Ileana has found that death can be around any corner. And so she trained, and trained she did. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Skyrim, Ileana, the Battle Mage, Episode 6, Becoming the Battle Mage. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the little training montage that I put together. It took a lot of time to do, even though it's not very long. It was still fun. Nonetheless, uh, we are currently walking to Valtheim Towers because that's what we're going to be doing next. And I wanted to talk about a few things along the way. First and foremost, you probably notice I don't look the same. And there's a good reason for that. With the whole build kind of revolving around a battle mage build, I wanted to get into heavy armor later on in the game. But in the early game, I wanted to get my magic levels up as much as I could. And... So for the past, I'd say probably day, day and a half, in my free time I've just been training at the Companions Hall, building up my alteration skills, one-handed, yada yada yada, etc, etc. And with that being said, I'll give you guys a quick snapshot of what kind of skills we have now. And before I do that though, I'm level 20, and I think in the last episode I was somewhere around level 16, and I didn't want to go past level 22 which is the lowest level of the lowest leveled companion I think it's uh, I can't remember her name anyways I didn't want to go past that I'm trying to slow down the power creep as much as I can and with that being said let me show you the skills so we've got heavy armor now 
and these three points and combat casting and I'll probably keep going into combat trance and so on and so forth because I still want to maintain the restoration almost almost vigilant of Stendar like build that I'm trying to aim for and I think that's going to be the main playstyle that I'm going to go for is aligning with Adra being a kind of chaotic good character and only Adra and the Daedric quest lines that I can kind of you know cancel out then I will do that and that kind of goes along with Blessings of Stendar a little bit with Blessings of RK so those will end up helping me in the long run uh, we got block still 38 one handed is now 40 I might just switch back and forth between evasion and heavy armor I'm like right now I'm wearing some evasion armor I'll show you the armor setup in a second anything else that's important uh, I've been passively leveling illusion with a soothe spell and I'm not gonna be doing it on camera just because it's it's so tedious for me to do all the time but basically whenever whenever the it's a low level soothe spell which I can cast uh, and it gives me passive XP and it lasts for like 30 seconds so it's kind of easy to get up and I'm not gonna perk into this just to show you guys that some of my levels might come from this restorations 45 hopefully you can get 50 soon alterations 36 and that's about it and so for gear we have a Bosmer reinforced cuirass we have a dwarven shield which I was able to pick up in Markarth. Along with that, we have an Orcish Helm. I picked that up in Whiterun. And we are still rocking the Hammerfell boots and gauntlets. So I should still be getting heavy and evasion uh, experience. The only downside of that is that I won't be doing as much damage output when it comes to my weapons because the evasion perk tree is almost negated if you're wearing any heavy armor and it, it's not the same way with the heavy armor perk tree so I'm gonna probably keep this up until it seems not viable anymore I'm not gonna probably invest any more points into evasion though Here, let me just take this guy out I should be able to out DPS him yeah, there we go. And we've got Uthgird now, so that's always fun. That should help me. Now, let me just show you. I'm not losing too much Magicka when I cast spells still, as long as they're Novice or Apprentice. So, for instance, here's Heal Self 1. And it's still chunking a little bit. Like, it, it's not super fast, but it's not as slow as it once was. It's still... I'm happy with it. Because the main issue that I've been having is crossbows and bow users. And what I'm trying to alleviate now with the heavy armor and the heavy shield is I won't really have to worry so much about dying in one to two shots from crossbows and bows. So with that being said, we're just going to run up here and I hope this is going to be a smooth encounter. I haven't done much uh, combat testing yet with the heavy armor outside of the training with the companions. So this is kind of going to be an eye-opening experience for all of us. I can only hope that it goes well. Now, I am already souped and stewed up, and I don't think I have any scrolls I need to use. You know what? I'll, I'll just go ahead and use this. Yeah. Nope. want to use that there we go and I think that's all we really need and we're just gonna hack and slash these guys and by the way this is how much yeah see that drains hardly any magicka so I'm perfectly happy with that but there's gonna be a ton of bow users so the plan here is probably to try and funnel them through this door and the only one that I'm probably even fearing at this point is the main boss, who I think is right there with the two-hander. So, let's see. She should approach us and say about the toll. Hold it. 
This here's a toll road. See? And you're gonna have to hand over. Say, let's intimidate. You know, and you know, now we're just gonna go murder hobo. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, dwar dwarven armor. Nice. Wait, is that a person? Yeah, it is. These guys are just letting all their buddies die. Like it's nothing to them. All right. Come on, Uthgird. Yeah, okay, I hear spells, so I'm gonna back off a little bit. Okay, maybe all the spells are gone. Sweet. I'm kind of curious to try and take a little bit of damage just to see what will happen. I think Uthgird is going to do the majority of the work here. Let's see if this guy can hit me. I'm not even going to block. How do you miss? Nice. Way less than what we were taking. So bandit encounters should be fairly easy now. Unless we just make a lot of stupid mistakes. Hopefully we won't. Alright, let's just see... Hail Mary? Oh, lower. Maybe right there. Yeah, <laughs> yes. What was that? This spell is annoying because it's one of the only volley spells in, in the game. And it's just so hard to judge how to shoot it right. Come on, show me what you've got. got some frame, frames that we're losing. Oh, it's hurt a little bit. Alright, we need to take her out. Kill you. Stay alive, Uthgird. I need you. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's got a flame atronach. Shit. Let's, um, sip a potion. And I should probably just let that thing die out, to be honest. Oh, there it goes. Now, I guess the real question is does he have another? can't tell. Is that Uthgird or him? Yeah, that's Bandit. Okay. Let's just poke him with this. I don't want to use Silver Bolts. Let's go Steel. And this guy just has... Oh, he's got a staff. That's why. Nice job, Uthgird. Can you move now? Please? Thank you. Now there might be one more. Let me just do a quick check. I think that's all of them. But I did want to say, this was a uh, one of the quests that you can get from Preventus at Whiterun. And I think my companion's quests are bugged because I can't progress in the companions, even though it's not really that important. I'm mainly just using it for a bed and a place to store my stuff at this point. But I'm not really sure if this was one of the companion's quests. All right, uh, I'm gonna pause the recorder here and I'll see you guys wherever we pick up. Okay, so we're gonna rest real quick to get our levels and see what we got. And smithing, so I grabbed everything from Valheim Towers, smith most of it, and we're still getting invasion experience, so that's still good. Lock picking, that's always nice. Alchemy, grindy as ever now. Uh, let's just go ahead and level up. And now I think we're gonna... We're not too worried about health. Really, we're gonna be worrying about stamina and magicka because we have heavy armor now. So I think magicka is the way to go. Oh, we got two levels. Perfect. Two magicka. Okay, with that being said... I kind of want to come back to the alchemy tree, but now's not the time. Speech may be good to invest in. Oh, I thought I could get merchant. Never mind. I'm only at 45. Something must be fortifying me up to 50. Okay, then I want to... Let me see. Can I get anything with one-handed? Sword focus. Can't get anything yet. 
I might take the flurry then. Block. I need to take block. So let's go ahead and take experience blocking. That'll come in handy. Powerful bashes might be useful, but I'm not really going to be taking on anything super big that will require those kind of bashes. Um, let me see these. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to take... I can't get improved mage armor because I'm going to be wearing armor. So magic resistance will probably be the best option. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is head on over to Solitude and we're going to join the Imperial Legion. From a roleplay perspective, it kind of makes sense because we are Imperial. And from a gameplay perspective, I really want to get into one of the first tombs that you're sent out to as a quest to get the Jagged Crown. So when we get to that point, I'll pick it back up. All right, so I completely forgot before I can get to the Draugr cave that I want to go to, I have to clear out Fort Haragstad. So that's what we're going to be doing really quick, hopefully. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's see, can I hit you? I cannot. How about you? Yes, we can. For some reason, I thought these were... Stormcloak, Stormcloak soldiers, but I guess they're just uh, bandits. Whoa. Put those spells away, please. Alright, let's just uh, help Uthgird out real quick. We're able to take a lot of damage before we even need to think about healing. Oh, there's the mage. Here's some crossbow bolts. So if we get hit, I guess that'll be a good indication of how much damage we can actually take from a crossbow. Any takers? What is this? When I was wearing light armor, they just hit me all the time. Now that I have heavy armor, they just can't even hit me. Dodge my attacks. There we go. So we just got to clear this out real quick. Now, just because I have heavy armor doesn't mean that I'm. Oh, come on, man. Doesn't mean that I'm immune to um, a lot of the power attacks that. especially two handed weapons. I'd say right now, two-handed weapons and magic are what I have to most worry about. Let's see, you got anything? I'll, I'll come back through and loot everything. It is foggy. Okay, let's just go ahead into this first room. Alright, two-hander. Down. What are you, two-hander as well? Uh, not anymore. Is someone there? Come on. Level 19, nice. I think that's a dwarven armor. One of the mod added ones. Yeah, the scrounge curus. Nice. Let me see. Does that make this cleared? No. Still more to it. Anyone else? You know what? Let's just throw up a candlelight for now. Not enough magicka. Okay. Did I miss something here? Is it... Oh, maybe at the entrance. I think there was a portion off to the left that I could have gone through. Okay, maybe, I have no idea. Like I said, I'm gonna come back through and loot everything after I pause the recorder. But for now, for time's sake, I just wanna kinda speed everything up. All right. you wanna go? 
Uthgird, you are amazing. I'm so happy I picked her up. Oof. Take him out by the feet. Thank you, Uthgird. Anyone else? Okay. Let me see, is this cleared now? No, maybe there are more people outside that I just missed because it is super foggy. Um, I think that's an area back there I might be able to enter through. Maybe. Or, oh yeah, there we go, I heard the people now. Let's throw up some more mage armor get that amazing experience where did you go did you fall you idiot go ahead you can hit me all you want oh no what am i gonna do here i'll just take you out with the crossbow anymore yeah all right there we go all right i'll see you guys at the cave the drugger cave that i mentioned all right we are on our way to corvinjun still and before we've arrived there's a giant here and i really want to test out to see how well i can actually do against a giant i i'm not gonna say i feel invincible at this point just because that would be pretty fucking stupid but I feel confident that I could take on a giant. So I think what we're gonna do, I wanna use some sort of, yeah, I can probably use this ledge if he comes back this way, but I'm probably just gonna hit him with some bolts. Maybe orcish, got one of those. But if I'm able to time my blocks right, I should be able to take him out okay, I guess. Especially with Uthgird as backup. Um, I need terrain, though. I think that ledge behind him is the best option. Because if he gets too close, I can come down. I want to get his health down as little as possible. So, let's go ahead and get right here. And... Boom. Let's throw on another. Okay, do I have another? Yes. Oh. Ow. Come on. Let's see you put up a fight. Yeah, he's dying quick now. Bam. One dead giant. And the primary reason why I did want to try that is because in my journal, I've got a um, Kill the Giant located at the Giant Camp just west of Whiterun. So I'm going to feel a little bit more confident doing that now, even though it's still very spooky. And I'm pretty sure he could have taken me out if I don't block correctly with probably one, maybe two hits. All right, I'll see you guys at Corbin Jund. All right, and it is time to storm Corvin Jund. Huzzah. Let's see. You know what, I'm gonna try to use restoration spells as much as I can. I really wanna level this up. Cause I need to get 50. 50 will get me to the perk point that I want, which restores health and stamina when I use healing spells. And these guys shouldn't do too much to me anyways. If I'm not using a shield. Right, well, I'm out of magic already. Death to the storm cloaks. Ooh, that guy hits hard. Is that all of them? Uh, bandits too. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pause the recorder and I'll just pick it up when I get past all the stupid stuff. All right, I figure this is a pretty good time to pick it back up. I think... I haven't done this cave in at least a year. But I, if I remember correctly... 
Once you get through all of the storm cloaks, then you start fighting the Draugr. Yeah, so we're starting to see Draugr now. And these guys are pretty much just going to be body block shields for now. Yeah. Come on, buddies. Be my shield. Um, I'll check that out later. And this must be all of stories. Okay. One thing at a time, soldier. Focus on our primary mission. We're searching for the crown. Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, maybe I have to go back in there and get the... Oh, no, I don't. It's right here. All right, so it's, um... Fox, butterfly, and dragon. Okay. Fox, butterfly, dragon. All right, easy enough. I don't like Go ahead and mage armor. Now, how much does this block? I think I might actually eventually switch that back to Ward 1 because that's draining quite a bit when I use it. Ooh, uh, actually, I'm going to want to put Turn on Dead. Yeah, let's do that. No, I'm going to take Turn on Dead and put it like that. So now, if I do this, and then... Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so how about that? Because I'm going to want to be using my Silver Scimitar against these Draugr. So do that. Mm. Alright, that should be good. Now, alright, hockey's good. Perfect. Alright, what am I doing? Opening up a door? Oh, that is super dark. Wow. That's pretty though. Throw up that. This now, may sound obvious, but do you see a lever anywhere? This may sound obvious. I think it's over here. How's it going? Find anything yet? That'll do it. Or I think it'll do it. I think the lever might be down this way. All right, easy squeezy lemon peasy. Oh, there it is. Trap? Okay, let's see, what kind of trap is that? Let's just search, jump out of the way. Okay, so that opens just this. Maybe there's another lever that I missed. Okay, I hear you, Rico. I know, there's gotta be some way to open it. I think one of the worst things about playing in caves when I'm recording is that the frames just drop off so much. All right, well, logic should say that it's right there. Okay. All right. Ooh, don't hit them. Oh, who's hitting me? Holy moly. All right, let's just um, run away for a second. Man, that guy hurt. Wow. All right, thank you, Legionnaires. Let's flinch you. Alright. Nice. But yeah, you guys can see those two-handed guys can take me out super quick if I'm not careful. 
I'm gonna have to look into the stamina drain issue because I'm using stamina buffs and those aren't able to keep my stamina from draining as quickly as it is. I'm not sure if that's a heavy armor issue or a one-handed issue or whatever it may be, but I'll have to look into that later. Alright, so that dude's probably going to be the one with the crown. So let's have this ready and turn greater undead. I don't know what we're doing. Hey, I found a crown over here on this Is this the one we're looking for? Yes, it's the one we're looking for, you idiot. Cool. Nice. All right, and finally this guy. Sweet. We'll stay here and see if we can find anything else. All right, let me see. Is there a chest at the end? I think there should be a chest. Ooh, word wall. So that wasn't hard at all. I mean, in terms of how many Draugr we had to kill, and we had a lot of help, so... It still was a little bit frightening. Alright, this may bring me back to the beginning, so maybe it's just this chest sitting right here. Uh, sure, I'll lockpick it. And not. And not again. And there we go. Voila. Okay, cool. And that will about do it. So we got the Jagged Crown. Nice. Oh man, that is expensive. But it looks so ugly on us. Ew, get it off. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll check you guys in the next episode. See you later.